Hello everyone. This tutorial is about the new implementations and improvements related to the documented metabolism databases in the QSAR toolbox. In QSAR toolbox there is list of documented metabolic databases provided with the installation. They are currently located in the profiling section. All observed metabolism databases are created using the Metapath platform, a software for storing and maintaining data coming from metabolism studies, including structural information, hierarchy of transformation and additional details on experimental conditions. The software is developed and maintained by LMC in collaboration with the United States Environmental Protection Agency. All documented metabolic databases are provided with the installation. However, it was not possible for users to upload a custom Metapath database. The aim of this tutorial is to demonstrate all the new functionalities developed in QSAR Toolbox version 4.7 which are related to documented metabolism, including uploading a custom Metapath database and analyzing the available metabolism information for a chemical of interest. Let's get started. First, we need a Metapath database and upload it to Toolbox. For this purpose, we use the public EFSA database downloaded from the official website. Once we have downloaded the database, we need to open the application that converts the Metapath database into a Toolbox plugin. This application was not included with previous installations of QSAR Toolbox. It can be accessed via Windows Search with the text QSAR Toolbox add-in packager. It has three main sections, Profiler, Database, and Metapath Database. We select the Metapath Database section. Here we need to navigate to the Metapath file and select it. We also need to add some information about the documented metabolism, for instance the name, a short description, a disclaimer, etc. The text added for the name will appear in the QSAR toolbox once we have uploaded the plugin to the system. Start the process of converting the file into a toolbox plugin. After a while, we need to name the compiled plugin file. Once the plugin is ready, we need to upload it to the repository client. Accessing the repository client is done in the same way as accessing the add-in packager via Windows Search. Make sure you are using the appropriate version 4.7 application. Here we use the load from file option to find and select the newly created plugin. After that, we need to restart the toolbox if it is open and find the newly added database with the observed metabolism in the list of observed metabolisms. A message will appear stating that a conversion of the file version is required. Click yes and wait until completed. Now we will use as a target a substance that belongs to the newly uploaded observed metabolism databases. This substance is spiroxamine. We use the input by name with the option exact match. To see the metabolism information for this substance, we need to go to Profiling, select the public EFSA Metapath database and apply it. There are 42 metabolites for the target substance in the database. Double-clicking on the cell opens a table with the 2D structures of the metabolites. To get more details about the metabolites, we need to use the options in the right-click menu requested from the cell with the information in the data matrix. Let us first look at the metabolism maps available for the target substance. There are 16 metabolism maps associated with different organisms. Here we see that the number of unique metabolites is also indicated. Select the map corresponding to the GOAT. Now we see the observed metabolites on the left and some additional information associated with the parent and its metabolites on the right. The first tab shows general information about the parent and each metabolite. The information about the treatment groups can be found in the corresponding tab. Wherever we see a plus sign, we can expand the section by clicking on the plus sign. Additional information about the studies and the data can be found on the next two tabs. In the last tab, Data Tables, we see information about the fractions of metabolites in different organs. If we are interested in analyzing metabolites observed in a specific organ and in a specific amount for a specific animal, we can use the filtering functionality which allows us to filter the metabolic information according to different criteria. To do this, we need the right-click menu again, where we select Options. The conditions for filtering are listed here. 
For this example, we will filter the metabolites in the goat that are observed in the liver and whose amount is more than 10%. In the first row, which corresponds to the animal species, we use the drop-down list and select goat. In the second row matrix, we select liver from the list. Next, we need to define the criterion for the amount of metabolite, more than 10%. Confirm and we see that the information disappears from the data matrix. Now we need to reapply the selected database of the observed metabolite. There are only two metabolites that match the filter criteria. We can see the 2D structures by double-clicking on the cell. When querying the metabolic maps, all maps that match the filter criteria are now highlighted in yellow. Congratulations! You are already familiar with the Toolbox interface. Now you are ready to learn more about the individual functionalities in Toolbox and how to use them. If your question concerns policy or regulatory acceptance of Toolbox results within the EU legislations of ECHA's competence, please refer to the ECHA website directly.